It's really Ten tanky. You need remaining. to go into Rust Awards, into a Luna, and an A. Uh, for now, uh, he will be playing that SF, looking towards the bottom rune. But ZYF on the Juggernaut down the bottom. Lanham supporting as the line, and was DDC as the last one on the Abaddon. And they're all going to oh, beat each other, nice so fight. let's just talk about this one to start with. Faith, or well, is he going to go for the Chilling Touch bonus? Burning's already here with the Aura bonus. And trouble. there it is with the Chilling Touch. DDC, oh, oh that's a lot for the three what? men impale, but it's Inflame who's locked the Shadow Feet. The worst start worth Ehome could have asked for. The bounty room was at least picked up by him. Uh, they need to buy him a TP. They, they could look at Fury's positioning. It's quite uh, bad. For now. Body block from DDC. Body block. That's gonna help him. Let's see Earth Spine come. Nah. TP supports coming in from the shaman very quickly, but Ferrari. Uh, he's just so tanky. He walks himself away. Yes, on it. Plus now he the got the without just it. Right clicking the career and not being careful. Uh, Lanham. Oh, that's a, the, yeah, no, that's that's a lot of sticky happen. napalm. The Shadow Fiend's still gonna end up dying in the mid. I'm gonna stick with Luo now from the top nice, of Tron. Nice coming in with a shock. RTK still got the nice. shackles. Well and then where's the Spike Carapace? He never turned it on while sitting inside the Firefly, allowing Batrider to find his kill. And Shadow Fiend, he actually died behind the tower in mid. Did yeah, you see what happened? Yeah, he just got um, the, the Luna. You always have a rushing lineup when you have Luna. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, I'm just, they, they... I'm just watching Benny Hill moment up on top lane. Yeah, Lana's gonna die that. to this. Oh in fact, my god. they didn't look. The, the, the we, the we're, we're still at the end back. of the night time, and they thought the Chuan ran down into either this little crevice. Steph up to his level 6, he cleared the stack. Uh, he's so dead. He's gotta... oh Lua's gonna lasso him and drag him back down again, so then Burning can guy. follow up with a high level Lucid Beam. And then Batrider's Flame Break will finish the job. So uh, that's what he's up to right now. Yeah, and this is when it gets out of control because now they're gonna take over their jungle. Or it shouldn't be too hard. He's just gonna creep skip with the bat rider, good decision. And Schwan is just getting level stop. He can TP bottom eventually if he has to, but I don't really think he's. They just, they got, they just got a glimpse of uh, Juggernaut. While you don't he's have dead. Lasso, Ferrari here. There goes your spin, but he's happy to oh, viper strike it because there yeah, is just no it. running away from this one. Even with the hex support, the sticky napalm up and one more attack. And dagger, there it's so gonna be. No, yeah, okay, blink dagger in there. It's gonna be. Oh, the that's gonna be revenge kill. kill. He doesn't have another disable, but Luo is oh, still boy. taking so much damage from the tower that's allowed oh, that's him to get one pick off and maybe now even into Ferrari and Victus Gaming going nah, a little fine. bit too deep at the moment. If they chase they're gonna die here. So they're, chasing. Been charges. they're chasing yeah. and the Eclipse it just burns them. Faith while well, the rays in flames coming in that uh, impel stun from RTK to be on hard. target. Ferrari with a TP out and an early yeah, drums doubt. arriving for burning will get the movement speed to both Faith as well as fortified. burning to get back to the T1 tower safely. They only ended up losing the Batrider. It's okay, they still they only lost uh, and IG you don't wanna let top lane completely abandoned, so they might just have to sack the jungle of E home and just you know go back to farm a bit or keep on pressuring. Yeah, that's that's a good move as well. They're smoking behind the tower. In flame, yeah, DDC is the primary target. They he's do not want to have just that. Level six. Well, he's, he's got the level 6, but can he still survive this one? The flame break's trying to keep him in close. He does get the shield up, but with the slows coming out from Ferrari. And everyone having two points up in that aura is helping out. The Juggernaut jump, and Mal Ferrari's going to go down. And Ehome at the opening with a finger of death arriving for Lanham. He's able to nuke down the Ancient Apparition and RTK. He's able to find Luo, but he's got no follow up stun. Even with that one stick charge he's got, it's not enough to give him the impale. Yeah, it was that was really good kills. Like that Viper kill was so big. But I, I said he was level six because he just turned level six uh, half a second before they go for him. I think they decided to go for the Abaddon just because he was level five. They have better lanes. They're gonna get Roche. They're gonna push. They're gonna get advantage, better items, and they're just gonna keep him pushing. So, what you wanna do in that case is having here. Oh wait, that lasso Spike Carapace screws around nice. with Luo, but he still managed to get the hold on the Juggernaut. He does drag him back so far he just get hit by that Ice Blast. But it doesn't matter. They kept with the shackle, so there was no Omni Slash timing available there to uh, to the Juggernaut. And now yeah. the push will come to the tier two. Yeah, that's perfectly. They're all right. gonna push them back. They can they can stay. I think they should stay. They use Eclipse. Sure, it might be a bit scary. Oh my god, that that's a problem. That's yeah. a real problem. That EDC doesn't mistake. have ulti either, so. They want to be cautious about this one in flame. He's going to get ulti down by Ferrari. And well, where's that Shadow Fiend? The Requiem of oh, Souls will burst out. Luo, not in the greatest position here. Going to get Omni slashed, isolated from the rest of his team. So all three slashes connected onto Luo. And Faith, what are you doing? He wants to body block Ferrari for a moment. So now the spin. The Juggernaut's hot in his tail. 
And he's got the extra stun to help out from Lanham. So Ferrari will die here. And Invictus Gaming, they uh, they overcommit themselves just that inch too far. Are they gonna back? Yeah, they are. They don't know where Luna and the others are. That was a good buyback. Uh, I, I think I think they should just focus buildings. I, 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 I don't think they should go for the kills behind the towers and force the buybacks and everything. I think they should just, just focus, focus on hitting the hitting the tower. Maybe get a good lasso if they can, but I think they... They try to go for kills a bit too much, and then they eat a lot of damage, and eventually with the buyback, oh, that SF is in trouble. Yeah. They all <laughs> just gonna die. Burning has been waiting until this ice blast come off cooldown, so he could yeah, just do that. Thing. That's all yeah, he wanted that's... to do. One loser beam is all he wanted. Just a quick pick off, and he was hang and hanging around three players before, and for some reason, the message didn't reach the juggernaut that Burning was in the neighborhood. Maybe he thought he was going to back himself out of here, but the Batrider is hot on the tail. One more loser beam. It's a double kill for Burning. Yeah, those kills are crucial because they're just getting a bit of farm after the space they created at the bottom and all that farm they is actually get negated. One. They have the mech on the inside. This is almost a time when you almost want a five-man group up push mid. The but Arcane you know, Bruce off cooldown for Shaman in the middle, the Shadow Shaman wards will then be up. Um, Ice Blast, you can't use that too, and in fact there's a regeneration rune. Uh, Somehow that lion has more net worth than the juggernaut. I don't even know how that lion got that. Trying to do way too much, he just, he should just farm. They're gonna go for the kill under Faith, but that's like the most useless kill they can get. He's yeah, still threw the, the ice blast just out, wasn't around. enough for Chuan. He's already got his blink dagger up, so Lanham, he's gonna lose his life for this. So you've just lost your lion for, for an ancient apparition. You spent all yeah. this money because he already owns his hand of Midas. He bought that, in fact he had that purchase 30 seconds before they even ganked him. Yeah, he did for sure. They went for the Juggernaut over and over again. And, um, yeah, it's... Oh, he, is he getting Tron? Sort of yep. no. With a blink in, but then again, it's a turnaround. Uh, RTK just gets snapped. It really did yeah, look like Tron was going to die with the Urn Charge as well. They were ready for this. Support was there. Yeah, they were ready for there. Okay. He, he might he's die just here. Been, he's just been ganked twice. Three times on bottom lane. Now, again, yeah. as well. He actually yeah, they bounces might, they in a ram commit, form. But like he can turn? No. No. He won't. no. The flame break from Luo bought enough time. <laughs> Too much damage. Alright, so I mean, there's nothing to buy at this stage. He's so far behind. And when Roche is back, they're gonna get the tower, probably back off and get Roche after. Which is good for them. SFBKB. I think they could even hold. Maybe they can defend, actually. They don't have Rasta Ward. They don't have Lasso. Yeah. Well, there's your jump in, already burning, turned into a, into nice a chicken. The four stars gonna keep him away from the Requiem of Souls. Allowing some of the BKB and then into your Eclipse. Uh, Gullet, the, the, uh, the damage bounce out, it's burning. He takes the entire Omni Slash, oh but they've walked all the way back so far. They're in range with the Mass Serpent Wards that were used before to kill off that Jugger. And in flame, lassoed up, the Ice Blast doing his work. It's a two for one trade off at the moment. As the rest of Ehome will be retreating. Or will they? They turn around, the Spy Carapace gonna stop Lua from running away here. They have enough stuns, they bounce him twice on the Impal as well as the Earth Spike. So they able to get uh, a double kill into RNTK. But you've just lost your SF and your Juggernaut for that. Uh, Ehome is fighting decent. I think Ehome is fighting quite well to be honest. It's, it's really hard fights to take. They played it well, it's really unfortunate that they didn't get Burning. It's it's so unfortunate. If you if you would have died here, then the fight would have been. They know, they know it's hard for IG to die. Yeah, and they don't want to throw that ice blast at the top lane like they did previously, because they want to yeah. have that for when they uh, when they take the fight. Just like now, ice blast. No, they need to grab it's flying in. It's gonna hit perfectly on DDC, so we cannot regenerate inside of no. here. Sitting very very low. Luo unable to find the big opening, but it's gonna have finger of death down. Yeah, he will still lose the Abaddon. As in flame, gonna get rammed. And Ferrari is going to put him back in the pen. One more attack and that's going to do the job. So the buyback coming in from ROTK. The Mass Serpent Wards, a lot of them were lost. But Luna doesn't really care because now you're able to let her attack or will she? With the buyback from SF, IG will care. They're backing out of here. Lanham jumps in for the first time. Ferrari out of mana. Much, yeah. And they're not going to get the, the following stun on, from ROTK to Ferrari. They might have DKB on SF. But they want to back off. Fair enough. It, it, right, it feels more like safety first. Wait until yeah, the mass open wards are up and go again. You've got another. It is, they don't have. Uh, he's boarding. Oh. I, I don't like this. Here comes uh. that TP, as you said. Mass open wards are down and range of the melee, and that's going to be the primary focus. Lanham's trying to get rid of a couple of them, and Luo, he jumps out. He picks up the lion into the eclipse. There's a lot of damage being done. Three heroes on the sidelines. Inflame winding up for the big swing. 
But uh, really, there's just nothing much to play with. The pa the uh, bouncing glaives are coming in, yeah. and it really was like you give up the bottom racks. But how do you then defend against IG? You already knew yeah, you're pushing hard. it uphill, so it was kind of like a, an all or nothing in at the end. They couldn't defend this racks for sure. I think the right uh, the right approach would have been to let it go and try to defend the next one with a bit more items. But I'm not even sure that would have worked. I mean, IG has. A had a dominating lead, it was really hard for Ehome to take any sort of defense. And the way IG played that push was interesting.